of one need, everything is going to be fulfilled. I know you ain't used to that, so it's hard to believe that. You know what I mean? But you just got to read the scriptures, and if you believe the scriptures, you're going to know that it is so. Because it is so. You ain't going to have no one. You hear me? Let, let me tell you this here too before we go into our lesson. You know, I found out, who, how many ever heard of uh, Dante Forson? That fella, he's a great researcher, and I was listening at him last night. Last night, and he was just going on and on about some things, and um, uh, I was listening to this fella. And uh, the things that this fella said, and he was, a lot of it he was reading from a, 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 a book that was wrote by a lady that was uh, in the transatlantic slave trade era. You get me? And don't you know that, uh, uh, and I come to find out too, that it was some of our own people too that sold us into slavery. Now everything in Africa was black. You know, you got all of the other nations around us too. But it was some of Judah's, Judah, that sold Judah in slavery. But after Judah found out how those, um, those people was doing to the ones that they sold in slavery, all the king of Judah cut up. Now they was in idolatry. Judah was, because they were worshiping the great serpent. <laughs> you just gotta, I mean, all this stuff was written, is written down. You gotta go way back into history. You know, all of it is written down. And, uh, and don't you know, during the transatlantic slave trade, they was planning on bringing white folk into slavery. The king of Judah. Don't name him, but he was the king of Judah. And they was in idolatry, worshiping the great serpent. Isn't that something? You, you're worshiping the great and, and, and the most high, now you're in turn to worshiping the serpent. And you know that scripture because they tried to do it when they was in the wilderness, before they came into the promised land. You, you, remember, you, you remember reading that, don't you? Yeah, they tried to worship the serpent then. But yeah, man, yeah. Uh, and this king said some stuff. And he, and he even told, uh, he said these people ain't even, uh, uh, wasn't even created among human beings. And he felt the same way a whole lot of us felt, feel right now, because he said it, and all of it is in a letter, the king of Judah. That joker said some stuff about, some, about, about them folk. He said some stuff. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm, I'm to try to find that again. I'll send it to whoever wants it. And Dante Forza, he's reading it. He is reading it. But now, like I said, Judah was in, in idolatry because they worshiping the serpent. He even told how them, how, uh, um, uh, I got to say the, the, them folk because we streaming. How, how these folk got the color, everything. And, uh, and they wasn't even, pretty much wasn't even counted among human beings. And he went all to, to, to show and, and, and to prove that. And when the Most High wanted to curse you, to curse you, he made you white. <laughs> and we say Miriam and all that now, because he said, well, he struck Miriam with leprosy. A fella said that no, leprosy, leprosy <laughs> ain't, ain't, ain't white. Leprosy, you know, eats your skin off you. He said, but now he made them white. He said that was a curse. He sure did. You know, and the King James changed it and put leprosy. And, and when he told Moses to put his hand in his, you know, take it out, and his hand was white as snow and all that. And said Miriam was white as snow. But they changed it and it made you think leprosy. But it wasn't leprosy. The, the, the skin color itself is a curse. Now, don't go to acting up and saying this boy. I'm just repeating what this man said. And if you care to read, you'll find that stuff. You'll find that stuff. <clears throat> and then he began to say, uh, re reading from this letter that the king of Judah... Because you know, uh, 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 you, you say, well, how did the king of Judah get mixed up in this and, and this? And you got to understand, they, they took that, they, they changed the African map. After they left their homeland and was dispelled out of their homeland, they came down into the uh, West Ivory Coast of Africa. 
the Western coast. And if you get that map of Africa, what is it, 16-something, you can find it, and you'll see a small portion down in there where first you'll see Negro land, the map. And then you'll see the kingdom of Judah. Every kingdom got to have a king. <laughs> Every kingdom is going to have a king, right? You can't say you got a kingdom and you don't have a king. Y'all feel me? And, 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 and he was king over Judah. And it was, the, the, uh, it was Judah, it was Benjamin, it was Levi, and even Paul Simon. And he, all that is in that letter, you know, that that lady wrote. And she was telling you what these tribes are. And she, they said these tribes, they never been lost. They always know what they were. They wrote that, the lost, ten lost tribes. Go only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. They wrote all that in there. They ain't never been lost because they always knew what it was. They always knew what it was. And you got some of our people, we don't believe nothing. And you know what? The way he's reading some of that stuff in there, them people act like the same, they act the same way we act. <laughs> we don't believe nothing if it comes in the truth package. Amen. It would be the truth and we don't believe it. We don't believe it. But you can tell us lies all day. We'll shout the owl. You can tell a lie and I wish out. But when truth comes, when truth comes, now there's gonna be so many people lost, destitute, not going to know where to go, not, not even going to know what to do when they find out that they're not taken up out of here in a rapture when these bombs and earthquakes start going off. Because they think they're supposed to be taken up. And some of them that I done told this over and over, to be honest, perfectly honest with you, with you all, I can't wait to tell them I told you so. I am going to say it, X. Because before long, I begin to call, boy, you were right, man, what's going on? I told you. I told you. You still run around here in these Christian churches following this, this Roman God, following these Gentile God, don't know your own, get offended when somebody come along telling you about who your Adon is, and you don't believe it. You do not believe it, even though it's in them some of it is in them 66 books that you said that's the only thing you believe in, them 66 books. But what the king of Judah was talking about, it's in Joel 3. I can't help but to go to it real quick before I get into this here. Let me just go to it real quick. That's okay. Let me look at, look at Joel 3. And this is what, how the NLT titles it. Judgment against enemy nations. It says, at the time of those events, says the Most High, when I restore the prosperity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will gather the armies of the world into the valley of Jehoshaphat. Now, I want to say this here. You know, the King James says this right here, y'all. Look. Say, I'm going to gather them down in the valley of Jehoshaphat and all these nations, and I'm going to plead with them, my people. The most I ain't saying anything about pleading. The most I say, I'm going to gather all you down there in, the, in the valley of Jehoshaphat, and I'm going to judge you. See, the plead make it look like something. Oh, give me my people back. Give me my people. I, give, give me my people. Plead. Y'all hear me? That's the reason I like this script, this Bible, because it actually says that. Says that will I judge them for harming my people, my special possession, for scattering my people among the nations, and for dividing up my land. You know who divided up the land? Great Britain. In 1948, when he brought them folk in there, part of that land. Most I knew this, Rob. It's already in the scriptures. It's in the scriptures. He, and, and not only he gonna get them for harming his people, pardoning his land, what book is this in? I think it's, uh, I was talking about it Sunday, I think it's Jeremiah, 
or somewhere where it was taught. Most eyes are a good one to wait this long to get these folk. I've been trying to get them folk the next day. But he knows exactly what he's doing. He has a purpose. He has a plan for everything. But let, let's continue to read Job. It says, uh, they threw dice to decide which of my people would be their slaves. See, the King James don't say that. They threw dice. To decide which one or which one. Uh, which of my people will be their slaves? They traded boys to obtain prostitutes and sold girls for enough wine to get drunk. Folk ain't care nothing about us. But wait till you read that letter of, uh, of what the king of Judah was saying when this happened. See, they ain't had no idea that our people or their people. His people was going to be treated the way that they were treated. They had no idea, you know. Back, back in them days, a lot of them, they, they had uh, uh, indentured servitude. Indentured servitude. You, you feel me? And the king of Judah pretty much went off. And that fella found that letter that that woman read. I think her name is Miss Day um, and Thomas Day or something. Way back during the trans-Atlantic slave trade. They got this stuff, but we don't believe that. We don't believe that. We believe that we're finna be taken out of here in the rapture. All right, listen to this. Let's read some more. It says, what do you have against me, Tyre and Sidon, and the cities of Felicia, maybe these some of the nations? Are you trying to take revenge on me? What, what does he mean by that? Because of what you're doing to my people here. What you did to my people. You trying to take revenge on me? Y'all feel me? Are you trying to take revenge on me? If you are, then watch out. I will strike swiftly and pay you back for everything you have done. That's the reason I'm telling you, these people don't know Yahuwah. These people think Yahuwah is just a, a security blanket that they can rest and sleep good at night. Oh, he love, he love, he'll never, uh, as long as you got breath. You don't know the creator. I always said, I don't care how flat a pancake is, it has two sides. I, you can have as thin as this thing here is, as thin as that is, you can see straight through it, can't you? It still got two sides. Why don't the most high have two sides? Huh? See, they're trying to escape his wrath. They're trying to escape his wrath. And I'm just here to tell you, They're not going to be able to escape, uh, escape his wrath unless they cleave to his people and cleave to him. You're not going to tell me you love me just to get a, a ticket on the bus that I'm on. Because the most high know our hearts. I just wish, I just wish some of my buddies them would begin to look into this stuff, begin to read, begin to study, stop going along with with the, with, with, the, with the 1948 crap, because that's what it is, it's crap. You know what I mean? They're trying to pass laws now because they'll call this an anti-Semitism. You can call it what you want. You can call it what you want. Because I, I, I got the faith, I, I got, you, you buckle me down and, it ain't, and I ain't supposed to be buckled down. I got the faith that, that when they was praying for Peter to get out of jail. I'm telling you, because if it, if it ain't supposed to be, if it ain't supposed to be a uh, brother Xavier, that door gonna come over, swing over. See, this is the kind of leaders that we need in these last days. Gonna say it for what it really is and not gonna care and not gonna worry about the repercussions because all of that is up to y'all. Because I'm telling you, I feel like that king of Judah. Since I found this, I feel like that, that king of Judah. I just can't wait till some of you get it, to read what this man was saying. He said this, 
He said, you have taken my silver and my gold and all my precious treasures and have carried them off to your pagan temples. Who is naming it out here in Job? These people done a lot of stuff. You have sold the people of Judah and Jerusalem to the Greeks. King James say Grecian. The Grecians to the Greeks. So they could take them far from their homeland. Right? Now look here. But I will bring them back from all the places uh, to which you have sold them. And I will pay you back for everything you have done. They don't know this, Yahuwah. They, they don't know, they, they don't know uh, uh, this, Yahuwah, who they call God. Because he's so sweet, he's lily white, and he's nice, and he won't do anything to hurt or harm you. Who really wrote that song? Uh, was that Jane Brown or Isla Brother talking about the big payback? Jane Brown, the big payback. The big payback. And they didn't taught you that you shouldn't look for you shouldn't look forward to that. I bet dog gone. I want justice. Many of us are afraid to even say that because Christianity didn't taught us. Oh, you know, uh-uh, I want justice. I want justice. I want justice to these. They'll tell you you're wrong for wanting justice. You got me what I'm saying? You, you, and you believe that because that's how we've been programmed by them, by this folk. I want justice, X. I want it. He said, I'm going to bring them back. I'm going to bring them back. You know, for, and do and give you everything you have done for them, pay you back. Look what he says in verse eight. I'm going to sell your sons and your daughters to who? The people of Judah. Because you sold Judah's children uh, to the Greeks. And the Greeks dispersed them to the nation. But look what the Most High saying uh, to the people of Judah. And Judah is going to sell them to the Arabians. Mm. A nation far away. I, the Adon, have spoken it. And once you get the most high to speak something, when a king, know this, when a king speaks something, it's done. He, 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 it, it is done. Y'all feel me? Now verse 9 says, say to the nations far and wide, tell them, get ready for war. They don't know him. They don't know this most high. Tell all these nations where we've been dispersed at, where we've been cut up, where we've been raped, where we've been pillaged, where we've been thrust through, where we've been hung, huh? where we've been talked about. And, and I, 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 don't, I don't like the fact, you know, that people are so fake these days. You know, even when they're talking about real stuff, and, and they, they, they I, I don't know, they'll say, well, for, 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 for them calling us the N word, N word, for them calling us niggas, because that's what they said. They ain't call you, look at that N word right there going down the road. They ain't said that. You know, I've watched some of the movies and stuff sometimes. That fella, that, that, old, that old big pot belly fella with a bag in the mouth, he ain't never said, N word, get over here. Or he ain't said, any word, get out of here. But we want to say that. Because everything offensive these days, uh, Ed, what you think we thought about them, our people thought in them days? And they're still, and you still, you might well go say what's under your breath. Come on, some of no N word. I don't like that kind of crap. Say, say what you mean. Say what you feel. Say what they said. They said, nigga. Hmm? So sure do. And they, they didn't even know what nigga really meant. They were just calling you kings and the queens that you are. That's what nigga meant. 
nigga. <laughs> so when you go by and rob and you, you say, what up, my nigga? You know how you do? You just say, <laughs> what up, my king? You go and do them at, at, now, uh, uh, it, it, it ain't in their uh, dictionaries now. I want you to know that, so you ain't gonna just go pick up a dictionary. That don't mean no king and queen. Uh-uh, that's what it really means. If they can change the scriptures, what you think? I'm telling you. Man, I don't care if people are so mad until they about to burn up and get on fire. This stuff didn't happen. And, but we all worried about what people feel like these days. People feel like these days. They're still trafficking your children. You know, this stuff is still happening not to the, to the place where it happened at in slavery, but the, 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 the uh, the attitudes, the characterizations, and, and how people are, and how people were back in those days. Don't you know that stuff still happening in the remotest parts of Mississippi and these southern counties? That's black people that still won't look up. But they got them trained that way. Sometimes them people down in Hamilton act strange. Uh, huh? Yeah. Act like, act, act, act like them folks are still top boss. Yeah, for real. I can't help but to speak what's on my mind, y'all. I really did come in with the intention to talk about this rapture thing, you know, but this stuff be on my mind. It be on my mind. I know what the scripture says and everything is coming to the light now. And then there are some that still want to pretend that it's not raw, that it ain't so. It is so. You're going to pay. You better come talk to me. But come talk to me. Look what he says. Say to the nations. And he's telling Job, because Job was a prophet. He was a prophet of the Most High. Say to the nations far and wide, get ready for war. Call out your best warriors. This is what Yahuwah is saying. Call out your best warriors. Huh? Let all your fighting men advance for attack. Huh? Hammer your plowshares because y'all have become great farmers now. Now you're going to have to make, remake them plowshares now. You're you, you going to have to make some soils with them. Huh? Melt them down and make some soil because we're fixing to fight. We are fixing to fight. And your pruning hooks into spears. Train even your weakling to be a warrior because you're going to need them. Pull that scary joke out of that house and train him because you're going to need him because we're going down to the valley of Jehoshaphat. We're going down to the valley of decision. And they're going to play it to my, come down to the valley of Jehoshaphat and there will I plead with you, my people there. It don't sound like no pleading going on here. It sounds like the most high is fixing to wipe some stuff up and wipe some stuff out. I'm telling you. Oh, he loves all of us. Yeah, it says, come quickly, all you nations everywhere, gather together in the valley. And now, O oh, oh, Most High, call out your warriors. He said, and now, O oh, Most High, call out your warriors. Let the nations be called, be called to arms. Let them march to the valley of Jehoshaphat. There I, the Most High, Yahuwah, will sit to pronounce judgment on them all. Because he's the king of kings. He's the king of the earth. He's the creator of everything you see. Of everything. Swing the sickle. For the harvest is ripe. They even. they even uh, uh, The Christian church even bring this here. And try to make it like this the rapture. Like this it has something to do with the rapture. Swing the sickle because the harvest is ripe. Who are talking about killing some vote? He finna harvest them. That's what he's talking about doing here. It says, come tread the grapes, for the wine press is full. The storage vats are overflowing with the wickedness of these people. Let me, let me look at some here. Hold on for a minute. Find 
this real quick. All right, now, I'm, I'm going to read verse 13 again, but I'm going to read it out of the C for Bible, okay? I'm going to read it out of the C for Bible. This is what it says. It says, put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, get you down, for the press is full. The fats overflow, for their wickedness is great, right? Now, that could be talking about anybody any group or whatever. But look at how this NLT puts it again. Swing the sickle for the harvest is ripe. Come, tread the grapes for the wine press is full. The storage vats are overflowing with the wickedness of these people. <laughs> Cephas says, for that wickedness is great. Who wickedness? He's making a distinction here. Y'all feel me? He's making a distinction. They have changed so much in, the, in these scriptures, and we don't know, we don't know Jack. We just don't know Jack. We're afraid. We're fearful. We're scared to say things for like it really is. All oh, have some compassion. You didn't have none. I'm just tired of crap. I'm tired of crap. And if the world is tired of it, I mean the earth, the earth is tired of it too. Well, why can't you say that? Because in Romans 8, it says that earth is even groaning, wanting y'all to manifest. Now the Christian church used that for them. They getting ready to be raptured out of here. Holy Ghost feeling. They want us to start living for God and, and stop lying. No, it waiting on the sons of Judah to manifest. Because the whole book is about you. The whole book is about you. The earth is groaning with pains, waiting for the manifestations of the sons of Yah. The whole book is about you. See, what they have done, they have replaced, they have used replaced theology to get your mind off, to even dumb you down to who you really are and make everything about them. To make everything about them. Who should never change the law? To the point where you don't supposed to uh, uh, abide by it. He never did that. The church did that because Gentiles are over the church and they wanted his they, they told us that that was going to be Satan going to have ministers in, the, in, in these places. Right? He told us that, that, that Satan going to have prophets in these places. Even Yahushua told us. He said there are going to be men in the last days coming and saying that I'm here. What they're saying it for? To get you off, Judah. To get you off. And they got so many of us off. I like what you told me yesterday about when you sent that message out. I ain't going to speak about it. I sent that message out in, in the response that you got. These just my, all I know is Jesus Christ and that's who my God. All that kind of stuff. Yep, you're right. That's all you know. And you ain't even trying to live for him. <laughs> Not that he can save you. You know, she was just trying to tell him, you know, who the, what his real name is. But I don't know. It. All, you ain't even living for him. The stuff you do, the way you live, the things come out of your mouth. And when you told me that, I thought about that. Yeah. You know, so. All right. Look, look at verse 14. It says thousands upon thousands are waiting in the valley of decision. There the day of the dawn will soon arise. The sun and moon will grow dark. And these signs are. And the stars will, not, uh, uh, will no longer shine. Yahuwah's voice will roar from Zion. Will roar. And thunder from Jerusalem. And the heavens and the earth will shake. Sound like earthquakes to me. Sound like earthquakes to me, y'all. 
Hmm? Now, they didn't forget all about that little one that happened in New York. It ain't never been an earthquake recorded in New York that I know of. They didn't forget all about that. They, they ain't looking at the sign. You know? Hmm? Yeah. So they soon forget stuff. They soon forget stuff. Earthquakes in diverse places and different places like that. And now it's one that happened in New York. And you know the thing that I look at, you know, the eclipse came, a sign, you know, the olive in the top on 4-8. Um, on I think I was telling Rob about this. And the, and the, and the earthquake was 4.8 magnitude. What, what coincidence? The eclipse came on 4-8. The, 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 the earthquake was a 4.8. That's got to be saying someday. He's, he's, I don't know. I don't know. It says, but the most high will be a refuge for his people, a strong fortress for the people of Yasharel. Then you will know that I, the, the, the most high, your allure, live in Zion, my holy mountain. Jerusalem will be holy forever, and foreign armies will never conquer her again. I'm telling you, he got stuff propped up for us. It, 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 they ain't coming in there uh, like some of my grandchildren, ne never no more. Never no more. They ain't coming in there never again. He has it for you. Believe that. Amen? Believe that. In that day, the mountains will drip. I'm going to show you. Now, he's going to tell you. you. Whatever it is. In that day, the mountains will drip with sweet wine. And the hills will flow with milk. Water will fill the stream beds of Judah. And a fountain will burst from, uh, from the most highest temple watering the arid valley of acacias. But Egypt will become a wasteland and Edom will become a wilderness. Now when it speaks of Egypt and stuff like that, it's talking about wherever the sons of Ham at. They black folk. But Ham tried to destroy Judah. Ham did. You got me? Ham. And you know, and, and they don't want to say, they don't want to say that Ham, uh, um, um, they, they don't want to say that the Egyptian was black now. These folk here is the line is covering up this. <laughs> the line is folk in the world. Huh? I'm telling you, man, these are the lionest people in the world. They don't want to say that, uh, that, because Ham is, 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 is Egypt, Mazaram, Ham is, right? And, 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 the, and some of Ethiopians, you know, Cush, all them, all them Ham, see. So there's going to be a lot of them that the most high. He ain't only bringing Edom down in, into the Valley of Decision. Edom is y'all white folk. Ham is y'all black folk, other black folk, other melanated folk that is not of Judah. That's, that's people groups. And he just happened to choose one. And, and don't you know I found this here out too. When them folk moved over there to, 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 to that land in 1848, they ain't fit for no climate like that. A lot of them are, are die of melanoma. Huh? Yeah, skin cancer, melanoma. A lot, of them, a lot of them get melanoma and die because you ain't got no business over there. You ain't got no business over there and the land pushing you out. Pleh, pleh. We can go over there and just lay out naked and you ain't getting no spot on you. The melanin take care of that. I'm, tell, I'm telling you, a lot of them die of melanoma. They don't, they don't publicize that. Now. They don't tell you that because you ain't got no business over there. You ain't got no business over there. Everything is coming to the light, Sister Lily. Everything is coming to be true. And y'all, 
I'll be a little bit polite. I finna say, and y'all don't want to believe the truth. You don't want to believe it. They don't want to believe it. And everything is coming to the light. You just believe what Pope Bonterface told you. Whatever their name, you know, they change their names and stuff. And Pope Gregory, them. You know, they believe all that crap. And you know it ain't true. You just want it to be true. And they don't realize, oh, I guess y'all say I just fuss every time I get up here now. I'm frustrated in my spirit. You know, you, hey, I, I'm groaning. I am groaning. I'm ready to be clothed upon. I'm ready to be clothed upon, Sister Lily. I'm ready for what the Most High said. Huh? I'm ready for what the Most High said. He, what he is going to do for Judah. He has punished us. It's over with now. The 400 years is over with now. Y'all don't even want to even talk about that. You're so ignorant. You don't even want to talk about that. You don't, you don't even want to talk about what, what the Most High told uh, Abraham in Genesis. That wasn't talking about no Egypt. They was in Assyrian captivity around 250 years. They was in Egyptian, e Egypt uh, uh, bondage and slavery around 215 years. But over here in these, where we've been at, we've been here 400 years. That's the prophecy he was talking about. That's the prophecy that the Most High was talking about. But they don't even want to acknowledge that. See, they don't realize this here, ex. You, you dealing with a, with a man, I don't mind you hating me. I don't care about no one hating me. I don't care. I, I don't care. And, and, and this is the way you got to be to get it out. If you're scared and you want to be friends and buddies with everybody, you want everybody to like you, the most I can't use you. He cannot use you when you want to be liked by everybody. We want to be liked by everyone. And the world will come try to make some trouble for us. But hey, to the most high be the glory still. To the most high be, be, be the glory. Ready for our people to come up and to come out. Some of us still got the slave mentality. Some of us are just, the truth be told, just outright ignorant because we refuse to, to know. And, 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 and you'll get mad at me for saying it, but you, you, you won't get mad at, at, at Hosea for saying it. He said it first. He read in your Bible who you say you love, Jesus. My people perish because of lack of knowledge, because of ignorance. That's all what ignorance is, not knowing a thing. And then he told us why we was ignorant. Why are you perishing? Because you, re I'm giving you the knowledge, but you reject knowledge. And he said, because you're rejecting it, I'm going to reject your children. We've been through some stuff, and we still refuse to wake up. We still refuse to wake up. Now, that's a, that's a certain preacher that told me, you know, that when he found out who... Uh, well, well, man, we, we'll do something. We'll do something together. He ain't seen none of these video. He ain't seen none of them. What possibly could we do together? What possibly could we do together? When you still, <laughs> what possibly could we do together? <laughs> what possibly could we do could we do together it, I mean it's just nothing possible you got a long way to come brother because I got zero tolerance and I think most high helped me with this here though because I have I have pretty much not zero but I got a very low tolerance of uh, purposeful ignorance I do I do I, I told you many times now and don't go to thinking I think I'm something. I told you I ain't the sharp knife in the kitchen. I ain't the cleanest towel in the washroom either. You hear me what I'm saying? I'm telling you that right now. But if it's some, if it's some uh, 
some Purex, some Clorox around. I'm gonna try to get uh, some on, on, on my nasty towel. If, if it's a if it's a knife sharpening around, I'm gonna try to sharpen it. I ain't gonna sit there and, and see a knife sharpening and continue to walk around with a dull knife and standing and trying to cut some meat. I'm gonna try to do something for myself. So I got I, I got very low tolerance of stop that. I got very low tolerance of uh, uh, of uh, purposefully ignorance. Because we, we have the means now, the most high have made it where we can educate ourselves. We can know about some things that we want to know. We can come out of the dark if we want to come out of the dark. Many people are comfortable in the dark. You're comfortable in that cave. Say it one more time. Come on. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. They didn't complain about it. And he'd have made a way to come out of it. And we still want to hang around it because we are comfortable there. It's just like somebody waking you about to sleep. My father, you are sleeping. And somebody come, wake up, wake up. The house on fire. Boy, leave me alone. I'm sleeping. The house on fire. You ain't hearing that because you're stuck in ignorance. You're stuck in your comfortability. You're stuck in what you think you know. And you're finna get burned up. You didn't hear that part. All you heard was wake up. You didn't hear that you're so ignorant. You, you didn't hear the part where it said the house on fire. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. Man. Something is, something is awful. But he said that Egypt will become a wasteland and Edom will, Edom will, become, will become a wilderness because they attacked uh, the people of Judah and killed innocent people in their land. It says, but Judah, y'all family, y'all will be filled with people forever. Look, look how he said this here. But Judah will be filled with people forever. And you know why he says that, right? Because <clears throat> they tried to wipe you off the map. Read Psalms 83. They tried to wipe you off the map. That's the reason they mix with you. They're trying to get your blackness away. You, you got me what I'm saying? That's what they're trying to do. They don't want to see nothing black. Why? Because they're jealous. That's benefits to being black. What's on the inside of you. That E1, B1, C, what it is? E1, B1? Or something like that. That DNA that ain't nobody else got. All that is proven. They don't even want to hear that. You, you, you don't even like the fact that, me, that I'm saying it because you don't even want to know that it is actually a real thing because you don't want to even have to go and look it up and say, some of to them niggas. Now I won't say it. They refuse to even look it up. Because so, so, something is to us. We have the most high who you call God. We have his genetic. We have... His DNA in us. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. When people want to be ignorant, they can be ignorant because they don't want to face the truth. They don't want to face the truth. A lot of us don't want to face the truth because we have corralled and become just like the nations. And he told us we were going to become like that in Deuteronomy. He told us we were going to become like that. But he said Judah will, will be filled with people forever and Jerusalem will endure through all generations. He said, I, and look at this is what he said because he knows we're still messed up too. The most high know his folks still messed up. You got me? He know we're still messed up, I said. He know that we ain't even trying to hear it either. Even what we're saying now, he know we ain't trying to hear it. Y'all feel me? But look what he said right here. He said that I will pardon my people's crimes which I have not pardoned. That's what you've been going through. But he said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pardon y'all. I'm going to get rid of this junk out of y'all. See, that's what the scripture talks about too, that I'm going to put my law in their inward parts. And this law going to pour some stuff out of there that they said had gone away. Because we don't know it anymore. We don't know. I'm going to put it in their inward parts, Lily. And my word going to speak to them through my Ruach. Hmm? Ain't nobody going to even have to tell you that's a hot stove. You're going to know it's hot because it's word in you. And you ain't going to put your hand on it. Ain't nobody got to tell you that. No one's going to have to tell you that. I will pardon the crimes which I have not pardoned. And I, the Most High, will make my home in Jerusalem with my people. 
and they trying to get to heaven, and he trying to get here. He said he's going to make his home in Jerusalem. Oh, he's just metaphorically speaking. You crazy. No, he's saying what he mean. And he mean what he say. Because Revelation says in the end, New Jerusalem coming down. Coming down. It's going to be coming down. He's trying to get here and they're trying to go to heaven. Ain't nowhere in the scripture where the, where, where, where the Bible tells us that we're going to be raptured up and he's going to take us to heaven. It said we're going to meet him in the sky. He ain't said nothing about going to heaven. Nothing. And you're not going to find it. Going to meet him in the sky. Even, even the souls. Oh, let me read some. Well, it's too late to get into my rapture stuff now. I'm finna go home now. We'll talk about that another time, which we probably never. We're going to talk about Ty. I had to call Ty, because Ty be waiting on this stuff, and now we over here, there, 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 there. But seriously, though, don't count on going no heaven unless you die right now. Your spirit going to go and be with the most high in heaven. You hear me what I mean? But ain't no such thing as no rapture, and you're going to be raptured, and you're going to go to heaven. Just flow on out of here on the cloud. It is not that. I, I have to read you this, though. Let me just read this here to you real quick. Let me read this here to you. Let me find this. Da, da, da. Look at here. Rapture doctrine is one of the most recent new doctrines in, his, in the history of the church. Y'all hear me? You know, the history in the church. The fact that John Nelson Darby invented the pre-tribulation rapture doctrine around 1830 A.D. is unquestionably true. All attempts to find evidence of this wild doctrine before 1830 have failed with a single expectation. Morgan Edwards wrote a short essay uh, as a college uh, paper in Bristol Baptist uh, College in Bristol, England in 1744, where he confused the second coming with the first resurrection of, uh, of Revelation 20 and described a pre-tribulation uh, pre rapture. However, Edward, however, Edward's idea, ideas which he admitted were brand new and never before taught had no influence in the modern population of the false doctrine. The prize go to John Darby, though, because he's the one did this. Darby has had a profound, it says prior to 1830, to uh, 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 no church taught it in their creed, catechism you know, the Roman stuff, or statement of faith. Darby has had a profound impact on religion today. Since Darby's secret rapture, false doctrine has infected most conservative evangelical churches, while the official creeds and statements of faith of many churches either reject or silence about the rapture, neither do they openly condemn this doctrine of a demon from the pulpit. I had folk get upset with me about this. And this was even before I even found the guy that even did it. I've been talking about this here for years. I just can't see it. I just can't see it, Brother Robin. Because I can't find nowhere in the scriptures that we're going to arise and Jesus is going to take us to heaven. I can't find it. But you, when you've been told something over and over and over and over and over and over, that's how you become, begin to believe it. Because you've been told it so much. And you ain't never read it in the scripture either. Think about it. Think about it. Just think about it. You know, it's just like they told us for years. I've been heard it, hear, hearing it ever since we were coming up. Uh, uh, when the world, you can tell the world coming to the end because you won't be able to tell the bud from the trees or something like that. Or, or, or some bud from the tree. Y'all remember the old saying? The old folk used to say. And, and you heard it so much, you can't find that in the Bible. And they told you it was written in the Bible. You can't tell winter from summer. Uh, you need to burn, burn another tree and all that kind of stuff. You never heard that, Sheriff? Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. It ain't, in, it ain't in the scripture. They tell us about the signs. That he tells us when to look up, when you see this and when you see that. Huh? We're so close to the coming now, and I know that, but it was still cold last winter. 
It didn't feel like no summer. And it get hot now. <laughs> and we're closed. So how you going to tell me that? All we got to do, Judah believe everything. They, that's reading the most high tells us. I, man, he loves us. I can't. He really do. But he said, but y'all, y'all so stiff necked. That my people are so stubborn. My people are so hard headed And we see this among us today. We see it among us today. My father. Let me, let me finish reading it. And we're going to get out of here. It says, while not all dispensationalists believe in the rapture, all those who teach the rapture also believe in pre-millennialism. Pre Millennialism. It says both groups use Israel's modern falsehood or modern statehood status of 1948 to be a beginning of the countdown to the end. That's all I'm going to read. Because <laughs> that's all what they said because they said that Israel, uh, we're going to go through the tribulation because uh, that's the time of Jacob's trouble. Jacob had his trouble. Jacob had his trouble in, 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 in 70 AD, and Jacob had his trouble for the last 400 years. Jacob then been through his trouble. So don't read that and think that's just an end time event, and, and, and the church going to be raptured out of here, but, but, but God going to keep Israel here because he got because they, so, they don't believe in Jesus, so they got to keep them here and go through the tribulation period. That's false. Jacob then had his troubles. Jacob then had his troubles. What could be worse than what our ancestors then went through? Hmm? Our ancestors went through so much crap. Esau put us through so much crap, gave us so much uh, 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 heartache. We wish for an earthquake to come down and crush our skull and go and take us out of here. What could be better? What else could we have went through if we hadn't had our trouble? What else could we have went through? What else could we go through? Are y'all following me? That's the reason when some of them was coming over here, some of them jumped off the ship and drowned themselves because it's better to be dead than be enslaved. I don't want us talking about that. Forget you. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Uh, uh, I, I know some of them say, what happened to Donald? Some of them called me Donnell. What happened to Donnell? Donnell always felt like this here. But Daniel is a nice person, but I'm pulling that off. Coming out from under the sheet. Yeah, you all too, too. I'm telling you, man, Daniel always been felt like this. Daniel been feeling like this right here since the last 13 years. But now since he didn't reveal more, shoot. Daniel ready to go to war. but I want to bring my brothers and my sisters out. I even want to bring some of them folk out. And a lot of them folk don't, a lot of them folk gonna come out too now. You hear me? A lot of them gonna come out, X, because they got to build your house. That's the simplest way I can put it where y'all gonna understand. They got to build your house. You hear me? They got to dig your, your fields and plow your fields and your gardens. My granddaughter asked me this question with, uh, uh, when we go into the land, will we still be getting married and this here and that and, and that and, and that? I said, I don't know, baby. I got to let me look. Let me look in, in the scriptures and let me, let me see if I find out something. And, and I found out and uh, I need to write this stuff down when I find it. It, it was saying like uh, uh, that, I uh, uh, forgot the, the, it was saying like, Judah, the, the children of Israel is going to be so big that even the children, when we get in the land, the children are going to begin to begin to cry out and say, it ain't enough room for us here because we're going to be steady growing while we're in the land. And they, so, yeah, you're going, to be, you're going to have to be married to do that. <laughs> so the land going to get small. Most high just going to give you more. How many more? Just think about it. He said, ain't going to be no more seas. Ain't going to be no more oceans. None of that. That's going to be land mass. Who do you think you're making it for? Who do you think he's making it for? It's going to be so well for y'all. It's just going to be beyond, it's, it right now is beyond imagination. 
But if you look at it through the eyes of the spirit, that's the only way you'll be able to comprehend it. Because he told us that eyes hadn't seen, ears hadn't heard. The good things which the Most High have for them that love him. But it's been revealed to them by his spirit. So you're going to have to get in the spirit to see it. You ain't going to have no want, Sister Lily. And then on top of that, no more aches, no more pains. Huh? No more colds. No more worrying with these old darn wicked folk trying to put stuff in the attic, kill you. <laughs> ain't got to worry with none of that no more because he said ain't no evil going to enter in. No evil is going to Do y'all know what we're in for? Got to worry about no more sickness, Sister Lily. No more death. I'm going to tell you something that, that, that they don't know. Now, in order to keep you in line, you, you, you need to read, uh, uh, I think it's Isaiah 66. All them folk that going to go to hell be in the lake of fire. In order to keep y'all in line now, because you got to understand, Judah hard head, Judah stiff neck, Judah smart mouth, Judah can get an attitude and think they can do what they want to do and there's no consequences. The book says there are going to be openings in the earth where you can go and look and you can hear them squeals and, and chills and, and people suffering. And they're going to bring you back to your mouth. Oh, I'm going to stay true to the most high. That's when he know you're going to be true to him because he's going to have opening. Y'all already know that was in the scriptures, huh? Go and read Isaiah 66. It's going to be openings in the earth all over it where you can see the suffering of hell. I'll remind you, you better stay straight because if you don't stay straight, you going there. Even after you've been redeemed and brought forth, you can still go. And them Christian churches don't believe that because God is nice. God will never do that. Jesus... <laughs> I'm telling you the most I know what he's doing. If he says he's going to have a holy people, he's going to have a holy people if he got to scare your tail into it. Keep you reminded. Y'all don't believe it, do you? I ain't going to, okay then, because Bob says she believe because she don't want me to pull it up and read it because you ready to go. <laughs> I'm ready to go too, babe. Huh, you ready? Yeah, I'm telling you, that's the way it is though. That's the way it is. There's going to be openings. And we in the new earth and everything openings there. Her folk gonna be suffering. They gonna be crying out. The devil down there, the false prophet. Huh? The anti-Yahusha. Which they call antichrist. Huh? He's now everything. But I'm telling you people, live for the most high. Call upon them children. Because y'all ain't getting away. Y'all ain't getting away either. We'll make some more of y'all if y'all don't make it in. <laughs> Look at my granddaughter. We'll make some more of y'all, Madison. So you better get right. Don't think you're going to uh, uh, have us this here and that eating. And, uh, now we'll make some more of y'all. We'll make some more of you, Nobby. We'll make some more of you, Yasmin. Y'all ain't got nothing sold up. Y'all ain't got nothing sold up. We'll make some more of you. Because we're going to be vibrant. Nah, y'all going to be old. Ask Abraham by vibrancy. Mm, I don't care if you're 80. You're going to have my, Bob will have my baby. That's right, baby. Sarah did. I'm telling you, we're going to be vibrant. So you better try to get in, yes. <laughs> But try to come on eating, because we'll make some more of y'all tails. I'm done. I'm just having fun. I'm done. Come on, let's stand to our feet. Any questions? Any comments?